you know, our county, you know, deservedly or not, gets a, you know, gets a, gets, a, has a reputation for not being very business friendly. And, you know, I know, you know, we've had Mike Knapp on, Mike Knapp and Nancy Florine, both past council members, they know that, that we need to have businesses here in order to support ourselves. So, but this week, once again, we have the county council president, Evan Glass, announcing that he has a roadmap to develop Montgomery County's economic development. And when I hear this, it just, you know, I'm thinking, I've heard this all before. It's like, it's like a bad comedy routine that, that just doesn't work. So, Lori, what's the answer? I mean, is it just <laughs> streamlining the permit process or is there something else we can do? It reminds me was when I was on the State Board of Education and they were tackling Baltimore City and I'd see them meeting in the walls of the State Board building and they're not going to accomplish that much if they're just meeting inside the building all the time. And I think if when you're forming a new economic development committee, um, that, that can maybe help, but you really need to get out there. Um, Evan Glass um, recently went to a brewery and um, talked to talk to a business owner and learned something. Oh my gosh. So maybe what if they actually went out and purposely talked to businesses all around the county and got feedback from them, actually listened to them and got their information and then tried to make action from it, not just talk about it and here's what we're going to do and here's our plan. I mean, they really needed to um, do something and show that show the business owners what they that they really listen to them <laughs> well Mar i gotta go to mara say mara say um you know is, is it just a matter of cutting red tape or is there something else that we can do well definitely that's that's a good you know step in the right direction i'm, I'm a business owner and i would say um you know i think evan glass is making an, an earnest you know effort i mean i think you know in in addition to obviously uh streamlining the permit process just looking at how, how to modernize it. I mean, I, I, I go to a hair salon um, in, in Wheaton who, you know, an, an owner, she was basically, she had her, her space rented out for like 90 days without her permit, you know, being processed, uh, uh, you know, something that she could actually, a, a building that she could actually go in physically, but was not able to, to go in uh, because of closures and, and people not being, you know, not working from, not working in the office. There are major setbacks for, for business owners and people that are investing and taking risks. And I think we should be doing more, um, if I'm quite honest, to incentivize, you know, risk takers and people that are investing their money. I mean, I'm, I'm a, you know, I'm a product of business owners. My, my, my father had a, uh, had a small computer repair shop growing up. That's how we fed ourselves. I'm a small business owner. So I think the county does need to do a little bit more. Well, at least we found <laughs> one, one topic we have agreement on. So stay tuned for parting shots. <laughs> 